Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing my January beauty favorites. So all of my bath products, body products, and makeup that I have loved during this month. But I also have a few non-favorites or things that I have like, I don't know, just some issues with. And I'm going to talk about those as well. Sorry, my hair dried really weird today and I feel like it's being not normal. Okay, so there we go. So I guess I will start off with face and body things. So the first thing is the CVS brand Apricot or Apricot, oh, Apricot, goodness. Sorry, my sister's watching me film this, so it's, she's laughing at my mistakes. Apricot, yeah, that makes no sense. The CVS, <laughs> oh, sorry. And this is the acne medication one with, uh, let's see, I think it has salicylic acid in it. Yeah, it is compared to the St. Ives medicated apricot scrub. And this is absolutely amazing. It is a CVS brand and I've had the normal brand before. But the thing is, is that I don't think I had the medicated version, so maybe this is stronger in some way or better, but my skin has been reacting very well to it, and really to all of my skincare products. I was going to kind of mention that. I've been doing, like I've been using the same products, but kind of in a different way, so instead of the Biore scrub that I used to use every day, I use this kind of in replace of that. It is a lot more gritty, but I don't use it nearly as often. I use it maybe a few times a week. And then I will either um, use both of these, both this one and my normal Neutrogena pore benzoyl peroxide um, face mask scrub, not really scrub, cleanser, or I'll just use the Neutrogena cleanser um, so yeah, just being a little bit more gentle on my skin, but this is really nice. I really, really, really like this. It makes my skin feel super, super clean. So, I talked a lot about that, um, for a long time, but yeah. Next is the Dub Shea Butter Cream Oil Body Wash, and this is Warm Vanilla and Brown Sugar Scent. So, it's a pretty basic scent, but what I like about this, well, for one, it is pretty moisturizing. I do like that. I apply a lotion additionally, which I will show you, but I just really like this mostly for the scent and the fact that it lathers like really, really, really nicely. But the thing that I like about this scent is that it, and I know this is kind of like an abstract concept, but it smells warm somehow. Like whenever I apply it to my loofah in the shower and I have a really hot shower going, it is just, it just smells warm to me. Like, it makes me feel warmer smelling it. It's weird, but it just has a nice scent. It's very soft, so if you don't like really, really, really strong scents, this would be nice. But I like that for the colder time, which it has been here. And I've also been loving the St. Ives Naturally Soothing Oatmeal and Shea Butter Body Lotion. So, this is really nice. These are all things that are in my parents' bathroom and shower. Everybody except one of my sisters uses my parents' shower. I love their shower. It's just so much nicer. And I just, I, well, I basically love all the products that my mom uses as well. So, yeah, she had this. And this is really nice. It is very soothing. If you shave, it's not going to irritate your skin. It's just a really nice, very soft, basic kind of oatmeal, that shea butter scent. It's really nice. Um, this lotion, I mean body wash is pretty moisturizing, but I do notice that like the top of my legs get kind of dry, so I like to apply this mostly on my legs. So yes, that is all for the body care. Now on to makeup. So the first favorite I guess that I will talk about is my Naked palette. If you saw, or my Naked 3, if you saw my recent haul video, you know that I got this. Um, I got this within I think the first week of January, but yeah, I'm sure you all have seen this. It's nothing new. But in particular, the shades that I have been loving are Buzz. Let's see. Buzz and Nooner, really. That's what I did for my eyes today. I'll kind of 
zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. But this is Buzz right here, which is just a nice kind of pinky copper color, if you can see. And then Nooner is this one right here, I believe. And it is just a nice crease color. I've also been using this color a little bit to blend out the crease, and that is Limit. But yeah, I've really been liking Buzz which is so strange for me because I never would have expected that I would like such a pink toned color like that, but I just think it's really flattering. So, yeah. And then, what should I do? I guess I will talk about this blush. So, this is the NYX Mosaic Powder Blush in the color Dare. Sorry, had a guffaz. But if you saw my Christmas haul, this was actually like passed down from one of my aunts. And I really like it. It is a mosaic blush. So it has the four different colors. And I just take a big brush and dip it in there and apply it. And I have it on today. It is just a nice, like, corally orange color. Like I like. It's just really, really, really nice. Really simple. And I really like the look of it. And it's a little bit... I don't know. It's just a different product to use than my other blushes that are very corally and orange, like I always wear. As for lips, this... Okay, I looked up the name of these because I never know what they are, and it's a very long, ridiculous, obnoxious name. It is the L'Oreal Color Caress Wet Shine Stains. Crazy. You would recognize this if you saw it in the store, though. This is in Rose On and On. And it is just a super, super, super pretty rose color. I don't have it on my lips right now, but I will swatch it for you all. I mean, it's just the perfect rose, kind of your lips kind of color. So it is just a nice, rosy, simple color. And it stays on for a long time, which is obviously amazing. Okay, the last few things are actually kind of non-favorites. The first thing is this Revlon Mascara. This is the Photo Ready 3D Volume Mascara. is in Blackest Black. And I have been using this recently. And my eyes do look great. Like, my lashes look great. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see. Like, I love the way my lashes look, but it's just, I don't know, I feel like at the moment, because it is so new, and I mean, I have been using it for about a week, but I feel like the brush is like too separating almost. It's one of those brushes that has a million of those plastic bristles and it's just, I don't know, I feel like with brushes like this, it almost applies too little product. So not enough is getting on my lashes. I'll probably love it a lot more once it gets a little bit thicker and just applies thicker and easier because it took me kind of a while to get my lashes to look this way. So that has been kind of a love-hate thing. And then for the kind of hate side or the annoying part have been eye primers. So basically I have just come to the realization that I'm going to have creased eyeshadow all the time. I mean even if I only, if I wear no eyeshadow but just a primer, the primer creases. So I guess I just have super oily lids. I know that I do have pretty like hooded lids. I do have like two creases on this eye, which is very strange. But yeah, I think I need to try out the NARS, I think it's the Pro Prime something, the NARS eye primer, because Miss Glamorazzi recommended that and she says that she has super oily eyelids, so yes. But I have just found that the Urban Decay Primer Potion and the Benefit Stay Don't Stray do not work. They both crease on me. And it's annoying because I love, I mean, I just got so many palettes and I have so many eyeshadows to begin with. But I don't want to wear them if they crease and look ugly at school and things like that. So, yeah, those were my favorites and kind of issues for this month. I hope you all enjoyed. If you have any favorites that you want to share with me, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you all next time. Bye everyone.